Hi, I'm Dave Clark and I'm working with the Kingsbridge Dementia Friendly Community to find out more about dementia. What businesses can do to be more dementia friendly, how we can all access information and support and how we can ensure that the younger generation are also included in the picture. In this podcast, I'm talking with Sally about her work within Exeter Diocese. We hear how churches of all denominations provide a vital link into both rural and urban communities. Churches are connected to their communities and rarely care about what's happening in their communities and dementia is such a live issue for all of us. We know that people are more worried about dementia than they are about cancer these days. So this is something um, that we care about. I'm Sally Farrant and I used to be the Social Responsibility Officer for Exeter Diocese. I worked ecumenically with partners um, in the Anglicans, Baptists, Roman Catholics, URC, Methodists, a whole wide range of Christian traditions. And one of the key issues that I helped churches with during that, my time was on um, the very live issue of dementia. And everybody's interested. Um, We've done a series of ecumenical workshops together across Devon, in Plymouth, Torbay, Barnstable, Oakhampton, Exeter, Honiton. People with pastoral responsibilities came along and learned together how we can really make sure that we are a church that welcomes people with dementia. We're learning that people with dementia still have contributions to make, so that they're a vital part of our community. Uh, that they can continue to um, do the things that they've done for a long time, um, sometimes with support, sometimes with us just coming alongside and pacing things with them. But they also bring a quality to our church life that's really important. Um, And it's important for us to learn how to be these churches that are changing our pace and looking at what we're doing from the perspective of others. I think the Dementia Friends session, information session, and all the recent research has just increased our understanding of what's going on in dementia. So even just 10 or 15 years ago, dementia was in a very different place. And um, people may have seen a loved one, say 20 or 30 years ago, go through it, and the support that they had was really bad. And the understanding was very limited by, by everybody from time to time I come across people who've had a bad experience in church and I want to say I'm really sorry about that because that was wrong. Uh, Today we know and understand from people living with dementia that their faith is really important to them, that maintaining their links with their community is really important and we also know uh, these days thanks to lots of research that cognitive reserve the way that we're using our brains, the way that we're continuing to interact with people and continuing to do our activities is a great weapon against the symptoms of dementia. It's important that we continue to to use our brains, interact with people, and churches can be a great help in that. The way that, that people in churches are interacting with each other is very different now. So, for instance... I know somebody who met their husband in their church in Devon as teenagers and they met and married there and they brought up they brought up their family in that church and now the husband has dementia and is very reliant on his wife and they go everywhere together and they they go to church together they feel very welcome there of course they do but they need to know that their minister and their congregation and their friends, that they all understand what's happening and the, the needs that he has and perhaps sometimes the surprising things that might happen. They need to know that their friends understand what's going on and that they're still going to be respected and understood and part of the family. For them to have done the Dementia Friends session together is really helpful. The best place to start is by going to your congregation, your church minister, 
of whatever kind and um, telling him about dementia friendly church movement and um, suggesting that actually your church starts by hosting a dementia friends information session for you as a church and possibly for you as a village or a community and then go to the dementia friends website and find a dementia friend champion to come and do this session for you it's just an hour usually um, so it doesn't matter where you hold this session whether it's in a church hall or the local pub or the village hall um, the, the church can be the catalyst to, to getting this together and then you can sit and apply it to your church situation ask everyone to come the church minister the church warden the flower arrangers, the refreshment volunteers, the local post office, the local garage, the local village shop, the local GP surgery. Ask everyone to come. And, um, I've never heard of anybody coming to a session who hasn't found it helpful and equipping and um, just really um, opening your mind up to seeing how people living with dementia can continue to live a really good life among us. Um, if people want to find out more they can Google Dementia Friendly Church and I think quite a lot of resources will just come up there. Um, we have quite a lot of resources on um, Exeter Diocese website which is www.anglican.exeter.org.uk. Um, Livability is also a national organization that's done quite a lot of work on dementia friendly church I would recommend going along and asking your local library they should certainly have resources about dementia in them and the local GP surgery should be able to help you as well in the future I would really hope that um, our rural churches um, make an effort to get on board with this and and are that link to the support and the information and the awareness raising that needs to happen now so that everybody has um, a fresh understanding that dementia is something that we can we can live well with I know that Bishop Nick always encourages people by quoting Psalm 139 where it says there's absolutely nowhere where we can go that God's love can't find us and that includes the whole journey of dementia. There's nowhere that we can go that God's love doesn't want to come and find us. And as a Christian, I know that Psalm 23 talks about um, that God's love and comfort and presence will follow me all the days of my life, whether dementia is in my future or not. Um, my father had dementia so I, I know what I'm talking about and this is why I'm passionate about this and why I can recommend the Dementia Friends session so, um, so warmly to know that it's so helpful. You've been listening to Dementia Lives and my thanks go to Sally for speaking to us about her work in the church. If you'd like to find out more, please search for Kingsbridge Dementia Friendly Community. Churches of all denominations provide a vital link to people in many areas of life across all of our communities. This has been a How production. Thanks for listening. Please share and subscribe.